Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I know you wanted me to say, hi guys, how you doing guys? Look guys, but no, I'm hoping there's some women that drive zero turn lawnmowers. In fact, I know there is. I have never owned a zero turn. I have never driven a zero turn. And all I've ever had in the past is lawn tractors or garden tractors. And the first one I had was a Sears Craftsman, 10 horsepower. That thing needed work every year, needed some kind of maintenance done to it. And, uh, but it was okay. It, it run okay. And it held up for about 13 years, maybe. Then the transmission went out. Then to get the transmission fixed was going to be about the same price as what I paid for that thing brand new, which was about a thousand bucks. So I got rid of it and went looking at riding lawnmowers. And then uh, there's a guy in Wichita Falls, Texas on Grant Street. He's not there anymore, but he was a John Deere dealership. And so I went there and I ended up buying a 46 inch cut uh, STX 46. Had a Kohler 14 horsepower engine on it. And that thing lasted for 27 years before I retired it. And the, the engine still run great. I mean, it, it run as good whenever I retired it as it did new, or it sure seemed to. But the PTO clutch went out on it, so that was going to be about $300, somewhere in that vicinity. I'm going to get that repaired. And I have been looking for any reason at all to get a zero turn. Well, there was the reason. Instead of spending three hundred, I ended up spending four thousand. <laughs> Not very smart, but this is what I wanted. I wanted a zero turn. Uh, I bought this one at Bad Boy Josh on the Seymour Highway in Wichita Falls, and he gave me training on it just before I, uh, you know, they brought it over and showed me how to work it they adjusted the arms a little bit i still got to adjust them some more because it's hard to get to reverse because i'm a pretty big old boy i weigh uh, i'm six foot two and a half and weigh 265 pounds so that those arms come right up against my chest they won't go into reverse as well as i would like it to i may have to buy the uh, adjustable arms for it or controls, or whatever you call those things. And um, just to make it easier to maneuver. I'm on a double lot. This is about two-thirds of an acre. But I mow the alley. I mow part of my neighbor's yard each time I mow. So I'm not sure exactly how much I mow. It's probably between three-quarters of a acre and one acre at the at the most with the stx i could do it about 45 minutes to one hour depending on how tall i let the grass get how wet it is you know blah 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 all that other neat stuff and uh, but this more replaced the john deere i had to get a more that could go in this storage building with a 58 inch opening because I didn't want to have to fight getting this thing in and it, and being 70 years old my agility 
I'm not as agile or I'm not as agile as I once was. God, imagine that. Um, this is the Bad Boy Rambler, and it's a 42 inch cut. And has a 22 has a 22 horsepower Kohler engine on it, and here's the right side of it. I always have to have that chute open just to get it in, but that's fine. And I like this one because you don't have to hold it up by hand. It'll just stay up by itself. Has a five gallon gas tank and a and a gas gauge. And I'll tell you what, I like that gas gauge. Now, there is something I want to, to see if y'all notice. Do you notice anything unusual about the front of this tractor look there at that plate in front of the seat there's no name on it it should say Rambler well you know that that's no big deal but next time I see Josh at bad boy Josh I'm going to ask him about that, and I should see him in the next eh, week, week, two weeks. You know, like I said, you know, that's no big deal. Uh, this machine has approximately one and a half hours max on it, and I've had this uh, Rambler for about... I'm going to say close to 40 days now. And I only had to mow the lawn full time or the entire lawn once. That's because it's been so dry. I mean, it has been dry. There's been no rain, so the grass isn't growing. And, but we do have like a, well, there's a big chance, I think, starting Monday. So, but anyway, I have not had any need to get out and mow the lawn. I did get out a little bit to mow the drainage ditch very carefully because some of the grass was growing a little bit there and I just had to get this thing out. I had to ride it. You know, you got a $4,000 tractor, you don't want it sitting in the storage building just attracting dust. You want to get out and use it. <laughs> so I did. Uh, but about one and a half hours max is all this thing has on it. And, uh, and I asked Josh at Bad Boy Josh, where is the hour meter on this thing? Because I didn't see it whenever I was there at his dealership. He said the Rambler does not come with one. Oh, well, I didn't know that. There's a lot of things I guess I didn't know. Uh, um, you know, it's, uh, what I do is I, I put the hours I used on it today and all that on a text file on my computer and I save it to a solid state drive that's an external and that drive only comes on whenever I'm going to add something to it or take something off so that drive should last a long, long time. Yeah, because there's no wire meter on this thing. So anyway, right after I mowed the lawn, a few days later, man, I got, I started feeling bad. I, and, and my wife was feeling bad. And so we stayed in the house for about four or five days, never got out. We had plenty of food in the refrigerator and never got out. So um, I did a lot of playing around on the computer, especially YouTube. And I was looking for videos on YouTube of somebody who had the Rambler that did something more than just uh, walk around. 
You know, it, you can find a lot of walk-arounds. They walk around it going, man, look at that orange paint. Look how tough that uh, steel is. Uh, that thing could stop a 50 caliber bullet. Uh, this this is a well-built moor. But you never see them with a chute. Uh, with grass coming out, uh, you know, the chute there. You you know, you, the, they just didn't have any. And I looked and I looked and I looked trying to find somebody mowing grass with a rambler. I found nothing. Maybe I missed it. So if anybody listening to this has seen a YouTube video of the rambler actually cutting grass, please post a link on my channel because I would sure like to see it because I can't find it. Um, the deceit the, whenever I I drove it for about one and a half hours that seat's not bad that seat's not bad and I'm I'm six foot two and a half and 265 pounds and it, it didn't hurt me any I felt pretty good but I was very excited just to be on the tractor so even if it wasn't comfortable there's probably a good chance I wouldn't have noticed it because I was just enjoying it. Let's see, what else I got here? Well, I, I guess that's way. Okay, I'm going to try to do all the maintenance myself as much as I can by myself. I'm going to tell you that I am not a maintenance guy, so it's going to be a sharp learning curve for me. And I may ask questions and may ask for help, advice, whatever, to do what I need to do to keep this thing in tip-top shape. Because that's the plan. Um, so, I'm going to, you know, I'll ask specific questions. And if you feel like, if, if you know the answer and feel like answering them, Oh, please do. I'd love to hear from you. Well, this video's getting kind of long, so I guess I ought to end it. So I want to thank you very much if you're listening to this and made it through the whole way. Thank you, and uh, you are going to see this more in action. If no one else will put one up, I will. Now, it's not going to be a stress test because the grass isn't very tall. Now, you know, but you will see it at least mowing some grass, throwing some dust up. You'll hear the engine, the blades whirling and and, and the grass coming out through the chute, what little grass there is. But maybe next spring I'll let it grow and get a little taller than I normally do just to give it a little bit of a test. But I'm not going to be mowing wet grass with it or anything that, that could possibly damage it until I learn how to work on it. But I'm going to have to get me some kind of lift to raise that front up. That front up. And the lift has got to be one that I will feel safe getting under without that thing falling and killing me. I've got a couple of, um, of uh, car ramps but I don't know if that'll be able to get it up high enough. But we'll see. But we'll see. And um, anyway, I'll, I'll let everybody go. And, and thank you very much. And y'all have a good day. Bye.